Okay. Now I want that money. Yeah. Let's just take the money. Nine bucks. And he scores two points. I think almost immediately with our double prefect, let's just get some goods. We're not going to be able to get a ton. Fortunately, I'm not on an iron spot. That's the one good I haven't managed to build a city on. It's probably good just to get a ton of cloth, right? I could sell it. Sure. Let's just go there and get a ton of cloth. It's going to be three cloth because we're going to double the bonus. And we have a house there. And they get two points. If I want to Mercator, I'm going to have to Diplomat to do it. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll use this Diplomat. We'll use this Mercator. This is the better Mercator. That lets us take five money and do two trades. I think we want to sell maybe all three, to be honest. No, we'll sell two for 14. Let's go ahead and buy three tools. Okay. And we still have 13 bucks left out. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. And now they're going to build a house. Iron house. So it looks like going up here. One tool grabbing that i need wine so let's do a basic prefect here's my little wine area over here so we're actually going to get two wine they're going to take two points i want to come down here one two and i want to build here well Let's get the cards first. We're going to go up there with our senator. We definitely want this diplomat. So that costs a tool. And then I kind of want that mason, to be honest. Yeah, the rest of that stuff's really expensive. That mercator, though, I think I'd rather have the mercator. Okay, so a wine... And a tool. They're going to build a house. Oh, wow. Another iron. There aren't many left for them. There's this one. And now I don't think they can reach that one. One, two, three. They can't get... Wait. One, two, three. They can get over there. I still think they're going to hit this one, though, aren't they? Yeah. They want that one. So they'll move this boat going to cost more now to build in these places where he is. I was going to come down here and maybe build there. I could do that Mason. Yeah. Let's Mercator. Get five bucks. And we can do two trades. I want a bunch of brick. Let's say three brick. So that's nine bucks. And, yeah, I'm going to buy one more food as well. Now they're going to build another house. Oh, I forgot. The province... No, the province doesn't... Right. Now the province is going to produce wherever they build. I'm going to build it in brick. Where are their available bricks? There. They can get down here, too. They can pretty much get anywhere. And they can get to that one. They could get to that one. Looks like that is a C. So they're going to go there. And then look at that. That is going to produce. Which means I will... Oh no, it's already... It's already produced. So when that happens, these flip back. 
Well, that is a shame. That is where I was going. One, two. I think we're going to have to wait on that a second. Let's diplomat. And we're going to use that senator. So now we can buy some cards. So we want this one. That's going to be a wine and a brick. And I think we want either the Weaver or the Mason. The Weaver is so expensive. So I'm going to just go for the Mason, I think. They're going to build a house. Ooh, that's brick. They can pretty much get any brick. This one. Boy, they have really spread out. Somehow they've missed this province, but they're practically in every other province except these two and that one. Wow, okay. Just to be clear, they prioritize going into different provinces. That's why they're spreading out so well. When you look to see where they're going to build, they want to be in as many different provinces as possible. But there we go. So then we flip that. We used their senator there. I'm wondering if I need to tribune. I could architect one, two. Oh, I can't get there now. Gosh, this guy is in my way and going everywhere I want to go because I really want to get onto an iron spot. I'm going to have to pay double. So it's going to cost six. I don't have that kind of money. And I can't really get over there. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, I think I might just prefect to get... The wine. So that's two wine. And that's two points for them. Then I will Tribune. So I am going to get a colonist. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bucks. And, whoops, I always forget, we need to see. It's gonna build a house. Best specialist is still the Smith. There's that one. So if they can get over there, they have three. One, two, three, he can make it. One, two, three, gets over there. Man, wow. That's pretty impressive. And then is going to take another colonist or a card. Whoops. Another colonist. Another boat. Now I've got this massive deck. What am I doing with this massive deck? I want to get that weaver. I should probably go there now. It's probably more important that I do this build, so we're just going to have to accept him taking our card. Okay, so I'm going to move three. One, two, three. We're going to build in both of those spots. It's going to be two wine, two brick, and eight bucks. And now I've hit most of the provinces, except for those three up there. So not too bad. And now they're going to probably take the card that I want. Yep. <laughs> well, can't say that I didn't expect that. All right. Well, OK, well, let's do our double prefect here and we'll just get three. Yeah, we'll get three cloth. That's pretty nice. And that's two points for him. And then maybe just Mason. Yeah, I'll just Mason and get two brick. One, two, three. Totally caught up to us. Good, 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 good. And now I can Senator. So we're going to take this Weaver. Cloth and brick. 
And we'll take this guy, which is two cloth. Now they have the Vinter specialist, so that's their best specialist. What are the two regions? These are the, this is the only region that, oh, and here. Those are the two regions they haven't, that they, that they haven't built in. They're going to try to go to one that I haven't been to. I've hit most of them, so they're going to go to that one, I think. And I'm sure they can get there. Yeah. One, two, three, and boom. I feel like I need to end this, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> It'd be great if I could get another build in, but I'm kind of locked off. I don't have the money. I would love to get here and build in both of those. That would be ideal. Or do I just concentrate on getting those last two cards and call it good? I think I'm actually better off just getting those two cards. I think we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna Mercator. We are going to sell that. Actually, I could just buy an iron and a wheat and be done with it. I think that's what I was gonna do. So I didn't sell this. I bought an iron and a wheat. Ah, it's gonna build another house. Another brick. Oh, he did it. Well, there. okay, there's a brick there, but he's already in that province. There's a brick here and he's not in that province. So he's gonna go over there and get it. Wow, that guy got in every province. Man, wow. And then it uh, produces. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're just going to end this game. Oh, can I not Senator? I can't Senator. <laughs> I can purchase one card without additional costs, but I can't get both of them until I... Wow. Really? Okay, I missed that. I missed that. Okay, I think I want to try to end the game by taking those two cards, so I'm going to do an early Tribune. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but um, I just, I need to get my Senator back so I can take those two cards. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. So I'm going to get three bucks for that. I mean, I could get a Colonist, but I need those uh, resources to take that. They're going to build... A wine house. Let's see. All the wine houses are taken. So, yeah, this one. Oh, and they're going to roll this die. Okay, they can't take the ship, but they can take one of those guys. And now we're just going to Senator and in the game. Uh, cost of those. And we take those. They get to react by building a house, and that'll be it. Looks like there's only one that hasn't been taken, so they'll go there. I think that's it. I feel like we did not do very well. <laughs> Definitely a little rusty there, but let's see. Let's uh, let's count up the score and, and see how it goes. Final scoring is, is just like in regular Concordia. Let's do our cards first. So we have five of these Saturn cards, which will give us one point per province. And we are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight provinces. Eight times five is 40. Boom. Okay. So that was our big, that was our big one. We can go ahead and throw that one away. We don't have 10 money, so we get no points for that. We have two of these Minerva. We're getting five points per cloth city. We have two of those. And points for that. And then three per brick. I believe we have two. 
Six more points there. Jupiter is giving us a point per city, non-brick city. And we have five of them. That would be one, two, three, four, five. So 25? Did I do that right? I think so. Six. Wait. No, five. Six. <laughs> Let's recount. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six times five, 30. So that's 106. We have two of these colonists. So that's two points per colonist. We only have three, right? Yeah, six, 12 points. Teen. And we're getting, we have two of these, which give you two points per different type of good. And I think we have four of them, right? We never were able to get onto one of these tool places. So that would be eight times two, that would be 16. 34. And there we go. That is our scoring. So now we're gonna look at the opponent. They get all of these cards and the face down ones. I believe there are 11 provinces and he hit all of them. No, except for this one. Nope. Yeah, he didn't make it in this one. So he's in 10 provinces. So he's only got two of these cards luckily. So that's just 20 points. Got one of these Jupiters, but it's a double. So he's getting two points per. So let's see if we can count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it looks like, I think. So that's 18. Okay, got two of these Mars. So he's gonna get, how many did he end up with? All but one, right? Yeah, so he has five. So each of these is worth 10. He's got two of them. That's 20 more. I believe he hit all five types. So each of these is worth 10. He's got two of them. 20 more points. Okay, and it comes down to these. Three points per tool. One, two, three, four, five, 15. Uh, three points per food city, one. Yeah, just one. And four per wine city. I think he has two. Yeah, one, two. So that's eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, there you go. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Since, since I ended the game, I get the Concordia card, right? Yeah, there we go. So I get an additional, I get an additional seven points because I ended the game. It wasn't quite as close as it looks, but there you go. That is <laughs> that is on the easiest difficulty, uh, just to keep in mind. And I didn't play very well, but we pulled out the win. But there you go, guys. That is Concordia with the new Solitaria expansion. I really like this system. It's really cool. It's so much fun. I think this is just a really great solo system. I really like solo systems that get out of the way. And I think this one really does. You saw it was quite easy to manage. Yeah, just really fun. I really, really, really enjoyed myself there. I hope you guys had a good time too. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.